So this is a press release that was released today. And of course, um, it is with regards to the issue of Bruce Fain. So whatever you hear right now, this is the official stand of IPOB and that is final. Mr. Bruce Fain advised advice to concentrate on issue in United States of America and other foreign jurisdiction with the exclusion of Nigeria. Did you hear that? Bruce Fain has been advised to concentrate on the issue, you know, uh, 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 with regards to the United States of America and other foreign jurisdiction with the exclusion of Nigeria. This is coming from IPOB, you know, press decks. Following the recent publication by Sahara reporters purporting a demand letter by Bruce Fain, my goodness me, a demand letter from Bruce Fain, we, the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, under the leadership and command of our lead, great leader, Mazen Nam De Kano, wish to categorically make it known to the public that Mr. Bruce Fain has no authority. Did you hear that? I, ha I haven't read this before I said what I said. It's like almost everything I said is what you're going to hear from this letter. And God is my witness. This is the first time I'm reading this letter. I just got it and I'm reading it. As you are hearing it, I, Mazi Kech Kwanoha, is hearing the same letter. All the things I've said is what I said on my own and it's almost corresponding with this letter. So pay close attention and work with me here. So we wish to categorically make it known to the public that Mr. Bruce Fain has no authority whatsoever to decide or make pronouncement on the choice status or neither the legal team, our leader Mazenam the Kano, nor the IPOB lead of the oh, sorry, let me get this right, please. I need to get it right. Okay, so we are saying that Mr. Bruce Fenn has no authority whatsoever to decide or make pronouncement on the choice or status of neither the legal team of our leader, Mazenam the Kano, nor of the IPOB lead council. Mr. Bruce Fain should recall that he wasn't in the first place appointed by Mazenam the Colonel's international spokesperson slash legal representative by this by this trailblazing IPOB lead council. Sir Ifanye Jofo Esquire, whom he today is trying to categorize castigate and defame because of little token of fifty thousand dollars offered to him every trip he made to nigeria by this infamous umada highway Dara, in usa and that thing in finland claiming to be unfortunate disciple <laughs> we are baffled that mr bruce fain could belittle himself and reduce himself to allowing them to deceive him by taking like a demented fellow talking like a demented fellow I beg your pardon he could uh, he could a well intelligent and a professional lawyer would be using this kind of words to his fellow lawyers in the world the woman in america sent bruce fain to abuja to persuade our leader Mazenam Bekano to order him and women to inaugurate government in exile, which, when his aberration failed to materialize, as it is un un unquestionable to be contemplating forming a Biafran government in exile when our leader is in the hand of our enemies. After this unsuccessful move to set up a government in exile, the grudges against uh, Baris Tefaye Jofo began to take form. These traitors in America and infiltrators in Finland thought that our legal representatives were the ones who stopped their gimmick and antics without knowing that IPOB have surpassed government in exile. The powers conferred on Mr. Bruce Fenn by our leader with the IPOB lead council is to exclusively exercise in the United States of America and other foreign jurisdictions with the exclusion of Nigeria. Pertinent to note is the fact that Mr. Bruce Fenn set his feet in Nigeria shortly 
after the abduction and extraordinary rendition of our leader via the invitation letter extended to him by our lead counsel, Sir Ifanye Jofo, which visa issued in respect thereof still subsists till date. Several attempts to visit our leader, either in court or the DSS facility by Mr. Bruce Fain, was all rebuffed by both the DSS and the court, respectively. All formal correspondence towards making those visits visible were exclusively handled by the IPOB lead council. We, however, observed that Mr. Bruce Fain started avoiding our lead council after our lead council declined to cooperate with him in getting our leaders to sign a total strange document that could have negatively impacted on their status quo. From that moment, Mr. Bruce Fenn pitched tent with sworn enemies and detractors of our struggles. No wonder he is today ranting from a foreign land. The general public is hereby respectively urged to disregard Mr. Bruce Fain claim as they are baseless because he is being induced into ranting this infamous statement. We reiterate that IPOB leadership have implicit and unshaken confidence in our erudite teams of lawyers who have credit who have creditably distinguished themselves as a sound and indefatigable advocate. Mr. Bruce Fenn is advised to focus on the international briefs provided to him to handle on behalf of our leader, which we have not seen any tangible results since they started handling them in the USA and they cease forthwith from further defaming our amiable legal luminary. IPOB appreciate and love his commitment and focus in handling our leaders and our case. The IPOB lead council has since taken to court the authors of the libellious publication upon those original defamatory publication Mr. Bruce Fenn relied on. We therefore appeal for calm why the court decide. Let good conscience and wise counsel prevail. But as if I age your four led team of lawyers worked relentlessly for the release of our leader Mazen the Colonel in 2017 until he was granted bail. So Bruce Fenn should ask questions if he don't know about that. Of course, this is coming from Comrade Dima Powerful, Media and Publicity Secretary for IPOP. Now there you have it. This is our official standing, of course, with regards to the matter and the issue of Bruce Fenn. And of course, we should put that to rest. And now you know.